Hey, welcome back everyone. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor for this MS700 Teams Administrator Associate Examination course. In this lesson, we're going to learn about how to manage live event policies and settings. I'm on my Microsoft Teams Admin Center. To manage live event policy, go to Meetings tab, expand it and select Live Event Policies. You can modify an existing policy or you would be able to create a new policy. Give a name for your policy and select would you like to allow scheduling. Allow transcription for attendees who can join schedule event. Everyone within your organization or a specific user or group. Who can record an event? Or you can keep it as always record so you can view it in streams as well. Settings for live event that are held within your company can be configured in Microsoft Teams Admin Center. The administrator can set up a support URL and configure a third-party video distribution provider. Let's go and explore how to do that. I'm in my Teams Admin Center. To modify live event settings, under Meetings, go to Live Event Settings. This is where you would be able to customize the URL or use a third-party distribution provider. And you can select the provider over here. As of now, you have two provider, Hive and Collective. Once you pick a provider, you can enter the provider by using provider name. Enter the license ID, which you have received from your provider contact. And enter the API template URL, which you have received from your provider contact as well. Using live events in YAML can provide your Office 365 users with the ability to produce live events directly in the YAML app. Live events support up to 10,000 attendees in the same moment from anywhere using the attendees, device or computer. If you decide to record the live event, you can make the video available after the event. So the people who cannot attend at the scheduled time can still participate. Now that we have learned about the live event settings and policies, in the next video, we are going to learn about how to manage phone numbers. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.